when we talk about systems, and especially when we talk about systems as games, it's important for us to define what a system is. So if you Google systems, or the definition of a system, one of the definitions that it will give you is a group of interrelating elements which combine to make a complex whole. So the the complex whole is just the whatever the product is, right? So if it's a game, it's the completeness of the game. For example, in Super Smash Bros, the rules and the physics and the characters and all of those things come together to create the game Super Smash Bros. So individually, right, it's just one thing. You used to jump, A to attack, trigger to shield. The fact that all of these come together to create the whole of Super Smash Bros. So, so if we talk about something that's systemic, it means that it's prevalent, it means that it appears throughout all of these rules, all of these laws that are created to make up the game. So if something is systematically wrong in a game, there's an inequality there, because the, the rules of the game are either helping one particular play style or way of playing or they're completely ignoring another type of way to play. If for example one character in Super Smash Bros was always the fastest, always the strongest, always the quickest, always had the best combos there would be no reason to play any other character and there's no there's no equality over the game because the game only helps that one character basically the game would be systemically broken if it had only helped one character and what that means is the super smash bros creators would have to fix it somehow that's why we have updates and patches to change things that are systemically wrong. Take for example characters like Bayonetta who on release were so powerful that eventually they got nerfed. And this happens often that new characters or new games need nerfs because people have discovered the brokenness of the system. So understanding games as systems, we can also understand systems as games. And what I mean by that is if you take other systems like systems of equations or systems of government or systems of biology, we, under we can understand those systems through the individual rules that make up those systems. For example, with system of government if someone is arrested and put through the justice system we have a certain belief and a certain reason to believe that they will be treated with due process that they are innocent until proven guilty and other implications of our justice system however when rules, regulations, and laws which are created with certain preferences in mind. And if that happens, then the system is unbalanced, the same way with Bayonetta being too powerful. She needs a nerf, because it becomes a point where no one else gets to play. So. To understand systems, you can understand them the same way as games.
They are created through individual rules which eventually add up to create the whole system. If a complex game system is broken, then you can never truly play it. 